Hello beautiful people, I hope you're all having a happy new year and welcome to the Wilsons From Travel vlog. The first thing I did in the morning was to say goodbye and give some food to my cats and guinea pigs because I'm going to miss them so so much. But anyway, our first destination was Agnes Falls, it was a two and a half hour drive away but I really love seeing the cows and of course the scenery was beautiful, so overall it was definitely worth the long drive. After that, we had some time to nap at the hotel where we saw some really cute horses and rabbits. Our next destination was the Wilson's Prom Marine National Park. It had such a beautiful, peaceful vibe to it. I love being able to see both the mountains and the ocean. We also saw lots of these little guys around, I forgot what they are called but if you know please leave a comment below and help me out because I'd love to learn more about them. Next we went to the wildlife park and even though we didn't actually see too many animals I still really enjoyed the walk because of how nice the weather and the environment was. And after that we went to Mount Oberon, I'm so sorry if I pronounced that wrong. That was genuinely one of the most exhausting trips I've ever been on, but it was most definitely worth it for the phenomenal view. Okay, almost there. This is the end, yeah? yeah. Yes! Despite being in Australia my whole life, I rarely see wombats in the wild, I usually just see them at sanctuaries, so this was a really lovely little surprise. When we finally got down from the mountain, it was almost time for the sun to set, so we went to Norman Lookout to go watch the sunset, and of course we saw some kangaroos on the way because it's Australia. Around two hours later, we were back in our hotel having instant noodles for dinner, which was a great way to end the night. The next day. Next morning, we went to the Big Drift. The first part of the walk looks like your average Australian nature park, but then we saw these amazing sand dunes. My dad and I both agreed that this scenery reminded us of the book Dune, which we read together recently, and if you haven't already, I would definitely recommend reading it. Even as I edit this video two weeks later, I still have sand all over my camera so be careful of that if you ever go to visit. And yeah, after a two and a half hour drive, we were back at home and reunited with our pets. So that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all stay safe and have a great day.